Hello everyone, welcome back to Astron Stargazing. My name is David, and I'll be your guide to the stars. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Orion Nebula. If the name was not obvious enough, the Orion Nebula is located within the constellation of Orion. The nebula itself can be seen easily on a clear night right next to the Three Kings, otherwise known as Orion's Belt. In this picture of Orion that I took with my phone, you can clearly see two stars next to the Three Kings, one of which is not a star, but the Orion Nebula, which is filled with brand new forming stars. While my telescope aligns itself, I just want to quickly thank everyone for their support on my previous video. For those of you who already know me, you should already know that studying astronomy has been a passion of mine for my entire life. That being said, it's incredible that I get to take you all along the journey with me, and hopefully, the weather and my schedule will both clear up enough to the point where I can upload regularly. Okay, it looks like my telescope is done aligning itself, so let us begin. I wanted to start by taking a picture through the eyepiece with my phone in order to properly capture the nebula as it would appear if you were to just look through the telescope. As you can see, a lot of the stars within the nebula are visible, however the primary gas clouds are almost non-existent, with a small, dim green blur at the center. Now that this was out of the way, I decided to attach my camera to the telescope in order to truly capture the Orion Nebula's beauty. Unfortunately, my telescope was not as adjusted as I thought, seeing as the images are very distorted. These distortions can be accounted for due to Earth's rotation. It's the same reason why we see stars move in the sky at night. The stars themselves stay relatively still, and it's just our planet's rotation that make them appear to move. All that I needed to do was realign the scope and try again. Unfortunately, since it was so dark outside, I tripped over my telescope, which is why you could see the distortion in this image. Not that anybody asked, but I was okay also. To be fair, pain from an injury does not compare to the pain of having to fix a telescope. There's nothing to worry about though, all of my equipment was totally fine. Anyway, I got back up, checked the telescope for damages, and once I saw that everything was fine, decided to keep going. I wanted to do a before and after with both short and long exposures, so my first picture is of a short exposure. When doing a longer exposure, you can more clearly see the filaments at the center of the nebula, along with more stars forming around it. Upping the exposure time even more allows for the visibility of the left feature of the nebula. Unfortunately, due to light pollution, any additional exposure would alter the image to the point where it becomes unrecognizable. This current image that you are looking at is my final result, and I am very happy with it. If you would like to get this photo for yourself, the link to my Teespring account is in the description of this video. If you like this video, I highly suggest that you like and subscribe for more. Once again, I would like to thank everybody for their support, and I will see you all in the next video. Wishing you all clear skies.